Welcome back to KG Gaming. In today's video, I had a comment, I had a few comments saying, hey, how about you do a bow only challenge? Where, you know, you only use bows to kill stuff. You know what? That's a good idea, so we're gonna do it. Before we get started, though, we're gonna head on into the cabin, and we're gonna make sure that we have bows only equipped it, because it's, it's hard to make a bow only video if you don't have bows. So in this game, Hunter Call the Wild, there's actually three different kinds of bows. There's the long bow, which is this one, like an Indian bow, or a ninja. We have a crossbow, which is like a... Viking, and then we have a compound bow, which is like a Come on, you got a competition 3D archery tournament shooter. It's whatever. It's, it's all the same. Now, and in the game and in real life, they all three take different arrows. So we have the 300 grain small point arrow. Then we have the 400 grain broadhead arrow. The 400 grain bolt. Bolts are not arrows. Bolts go in crossbows. Then we have the traditional arrow. Traditional arrows usually have more flex, so they're different than normal compound arrows. I'm gonna be honest, guys. We're just gonna pack every arrow because I can't really keep up with them at this point. And then give me this sight because I like it a lot. Right now, we're on Yukon Valley. Give me this. Give me this in case we come across a caribou. Give me the moose call. And give me the elk call because we're going there soon. Yeah, we'll make it work with that. Cool, cool. Oh, snap. Almost forgot something very important which is binoculars. And then honestly, I'm just gonna equip us with some random arrows, cause fun fact, check this out. Pretty sure once you check into this thing, like watch this, pretty sure you can click right here and you can like switch in between all the different arrows right here in this menu. So like literally with this bow, I can target recommended classes one to two, two to seven, but then also seven, eight, and nine. So I can literally do everything with that bow, which is pretty cool. But first, let's pull out the binoculars and let's just see if we can find one. Now on this map, like I was saying, we can take out targets one through nine. So if we see anything, it is killable for this challenge. But one thing with a bow, no matter which bow we do use, we do have to get really close to the animal. So while we're looking for more, let's pull out this bow right here. This is the ninja bow. Whenever you aim down sight, you just have to look down the arrow and make your best guess. On the other one, which is the crossbow check it out now there is a crossbow scope i actually chose not to use the crossbow scope so it looks like i'm using iron sights oh my gosh it was at this moment that he knew i've never used this before i don't even know how to aim that's gonna make it hard and then this one is actually a single pin sight i i, I equipped the really nice sight but apparently i forgot to so all right i guess we're just gonna look for an animal and hopefully we can do this bow only challenge i don't think it's gonna be impossible at all but just the fact that you do have to get i'd say within 50 yards maximum give or take with this sight it's going to be a little tough because you do got to get so close to everything and way over there is some bison bison are actually the best animal to hunt i think with bows because they're huge targets which is really important and they don't spook really easy so you can actually get pretty close without them running away and they're slow so you can kind of chase them down but if we can figure out where they're sleeping then we'll figure out where the wind's coming from they're up there and there's a moose so moose are also good targets because they're absolutely massive they seem to be over there oh yeah there they are yeah there's a bunch of them but they're also heading out of here so maybe my best option is just to run up to them that's definitely not the best option it's too bad that you don't have a bison call oh there's a big moose so we have two big game animals over there and it looks like they stopped and they're eating so they're there to stay we might get lucky and we might be able to pick off this one since if we look he's actually separated from the group a little bit if we break this down on a fundamental standpoint and keep in mind bows are also very low impact and they're really quiet so if everything works out right we might kill that thing from a distance and then still be able to kill a moose or maybe some other of those bison so let me go ahead and mark that one on the map and we're gonna go ahead and get down and crouch and we're just gonna head that way once we get a little bit closer we'll get ready and shoot him hopefully <laughs> All right, we've closed the distance to 132 yards, and he's still sitting there. It's technically a female, and it's only a level one. Let me ask you a question real quick. Do I look like I care? No, I don't. One thing I wish I had was a bison call, but I don't think they actually, like, call. Right now, he's 120 yards away. I'll say this. I have killed animals further than 120 yards away with a bow, but I don't want to risk it for this, okay? We want to get it done. In this video, we're at least an absolute minimum killing one 
of each thing. That didn't make any sense. Long story short, we're definitely killing one with a ninja bow, definitely killing one with the crossbow, and definitely killing something with the compound bow. The question is, what are those animals gonna be? And if we're actually gonna be able to get it done? In the next 30 minutes, the time starts right now. It is 3.53, 4.23. I have 30 minutes exactly to get a kill with everything. This might not be hard, but it might be. And the reason it might be is because what I'm about to do right now is make an extreme extremely unprepared shot which I shouldn't actually try to make. I'm pulling out the crossbow. I'm holding right on it. I ain't got a clue what this thing is sighted in for. Oh yeah I do. I have the ranging thing. Oh this is gonna be a cakewalk. I didn't realize I could just change the range. Oh yeah this is gonna be easy. Oh no never mind he's moving. Oh, I think that's about as good a shot as I can do. If we're really careful, oh, sweat, oh snap, we might be able to make a move. Now, whenever you're shooting one of these, it's 100% instinct. And you just got to stink and lob them, dude. Seriously, you just got to lob them at some point. What I would love to do is have like a multiplayer game going where like there's just like 10 people with these bows and we just start chucking arrows across the pond. Comment below if you want to be a part of that because I'll probably try to pick some of y'all to actually do that with me. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Hey, hey, hey. Now, I don't know if I actually hit one over there, but I definitely hit this one. And he is piled up right over here. So right there, right here, right now, the crossbow has been marked off the list. Where'd I hit him at? I was aiming right here. Hit him right here. Not terrible. I'll take it. Now let's just go see if one of my Hail Mary arrows actually hit the target. May have got lucky and just stinking domed one or something. Just from looking at it, I don't think I killed anything. And it is currently 355. So far, so good. We're like two or three minutes in. We've already got one of them knocked out. This shouldn't be hard, but if there's anything that may inhibit me from doing this challenge, it is my luck. Because as you guys know, my luck is not exactly good. So, the hard one's out. The crossbow's out. Or maybe it's the easy one. It just depends on what you're reckoning. Hold up. Hold up. Don't tell me it ain't possible, because I know it is. Did you hear that? There's wolves. What is going on? I want to switch arrows. What is going on here? Daggone. Put your arrow in the thing. Oh my goodness. Oh, ooh, that might have been kind of close. All right, we're not gonna waste any more time here. We are hopping onto the map and we are absolutely leaving locations. How do I move? How do I leave? We are changing reserves all together. I say we go to Tiawara because there's goats. And I'm just in a goat killing mood today. What can I say? Whether it be goats or pigs, I'm down for either one. I think killing a pig would be really fun today. But before you can kill a pig, you have to find a pig. So let's pull out our binoculars and let's just start getting on to it. Hold up, there was something on it. Yeah, that is something. Right, it's a fallow deer. This is perfect. Look at me. I didn't even equip the calls. I think for this one, we're going to go with this one. But let me go. <sighs> what am I doing? I don't even remember the controls anymore. Come on. Get a picky bow up. Pick your name. Come at your cell phone. Get your bow. Now, let's make sure we got the right arrows. Get, give me them tracer tips. There we go. This fallow deer or axis deer, whatever it was, I forgot. It looked like it was a female, which is not one with antlers. But uh, that didn't really bother me. Let me pull up a, a binos. Make sure where it is and how far away it is. Oh, okay. I did not realize you were that close. Hit fire, baby. Hit fire. <laughs> you just see that? Oh, there goes the big boy. No way! I hit him! Here, sling him down. Knock him down. Who, who pulls a bow back and has an arrow? What is this? This is not okay. Well, what is that? Is there something over here? Is there something over there? I don't even feel like throwing an arrow because I don't want to go pick it up. One thing for sure, roll those two instant replays. On that first one, I said, uh-uh. Ain't nobody got time for that. I ain't aiming down sight. Boom. Hit fired a stinking compound bow. Tell me when the last time you've seen somebody do that. Then on that other one, he's like, heck no, I'm out of here. I said, heck no, you're not. Boom. Smoked him right in the back, dude. Right in the guts. That hip shot, I'm gonna be honest, guys, that was less than like six feet. On that other one, I don't think I hit it very good either. So from what it's looking like, we got two really bad hits. But if we play our cards right, we should be able to track them down and kill them. We're gonna go ahead and put Jamal on them. Jamal, you track that blood trail. I'll, I'll track this. Oh, this ain't even a blood trail. This is my arrow. All right, here's my other arrow. So obviously these didn't necessarily hit the animal where we wanted it to. I assume these two animals probably stuck together. So we're just gonna get behind Jamal and just track them as far as they can go. There's a really good chance they might not be dead though because I didn't necessarily shoot them with a huge arrow. And by the looks of it, I probably didn't hit them in the greatest spot either. Uh-uh, no, right there's one. Oh snap, what is that? 
What is that thing? Oh, a feral pig? We're gonna keep in mind where those were. We might come back and try to get them later. Oh, right here's both of our little fallow deer. This is the one I hip shot. Tell me how that's not a vital organ. I mean, if I lost my arm, I'd probably die. Maybe. Probably not. But now on this one, I'm pretty sure I got a gut shot, which it didn't really run that far. I didn't get as much score for it. Where'd I hit it? How am I hitting the back of the legs? That doesn't even make sense, man. I might have got more than legs on him. That's kind of devastating. Let's see, what time is it? It is 4.04. I think that means we have 20 minutes left, give or take. So, yeah, I mean, crossbow is gone. Compound bow is gone. Now we're literally moving on to the Indian bow. Maybe hunting with a bow is not so hard after all. Now, I think I've only got one out of three actual hits. Actually, my shooting percentage, especially if you take into account all the arrows I lobbed at the buffalo and all the arrows I lobbed at these deer, my shooting percentage, I'd say it has to be above 14% right now, which ain't bad. That's not bad. That's better than Ben Simmons. I think we're actually gonna move maps. We're gonna do kill something, move maps, keep it fresh just in case some of y'all maybe don't like this map i don't know we're using the big longbow which means we have potential to kill huge animals where should we go we already came from the yukon Layton lakes is hands down the worst map in the entire game we're not going there rancho de arroyo i have an idea hear me out what if we go to mexico and what if we try to get the kill of this last ninja bow to be a turkey that we call in right on top of us it might be a stretch and it's definitely not easy easy to do, especially in the game. I feel like we have chances here, and to make it even harder, I'm actually getting rid of the Alexander the Great longbow. Trying to get away from Roman times, I've been talking about ninja bow the whole time, not the ancient Europeans. I'm talking about this ninja bow. Okay, get rid of all this stuff. We're going to narrow ourselves down pretty bad. We're packing two arrows. Actually, we gotta go to the store. I don't even think I have the arrows I'm looking for. Should we get traditional tracer arrows? I'd say so. It's always good to have a little tracer on them, because then we can see where the animal goes or pick up our own arrows and then i also want these traditional arrows which we already have and the only reason i'm packing these uh like mid-range arrows is just in case a deer walks right up on top of me i'm going to shoot it but give me the crow collar which is four turkeys and then the actual turkey call and then give me the turkey decoys that's all i need now let's just make sure we equip all of it we kind of forgot to do that last time all right we good the problem for me is actually finding the turkeys so if we're able to somehow find these turkeys i don't think we're going to be in bad shape actually let's go change the time of day we're going bright and early as soon as daylight and that is not eight o'clock we're going 5 39 5 39 that's a really important time if any of y'all know comment below why is 5 39 significant to me and the channel if y'all know it you're a true fan and if you don't know it i'm gonna be telling you later in the episode after we kill the turkey so as we step out the gate we're going to crow call and see if we hear a turkey There we go. Here's what's important about that. That turkey told us where he is. He doesn't know where we are because he, we, he just thinks we're a crow. So he sounds close, but you never really know. What I'm going to do, I'm going to set these decoys out perfectly within line of sight if he decides to come through here. I'm going to set it right here. And now where are we going to go? I'm going to get in this bush, so I'm going to put it out there a little bit further. Oh, dude, this is actually going to work really good, I think. This is gonna work really good. It's 412. I have 10 minutes to make this happen. And I'll tell you this, turkeys have been really hard for me to kill in this game. Like, I don't really know what it is or if it's anything in particular, but for me, turkeys have just been really hard to kill. So this is really gonna be a challenge. We got our decoys out. Let's get into a good spot where they can't see us. Eh, it's not a great spot. Maybe right over here in this bush won't be bad. Oh, we're stinking hidden, dude. Now we pull out the turkey call and we let that turkey know exactly where we are. And that should be enough. Now let's just start looking because he might start coming. Hopefully he gets right in here close because if he doesn't come straight to the decoys, he's probably going to be too far away for me to shoot with the bow. That's what these decoys are important for, especially for turkeys. <laughs> All right, guys, it's been five minutes. Therefore, we only have five minutes left, and this turkey's not moved. That's what I didn't want to happen, but that doesn't mean that he's not coming. Before I get up, let's just blow this crow call one more time just to see maybe he might, he might vote. Dang it. We're running out of time, but I think we just gotta sit still. I'll stay here for the next three minutes, but after then, I'm getting up and I gotta go sling an arrow, even if it's from 150 yards. But guys, we gotta, we gotta do this challenge. We can't lose this. <laughs> Guys, it's right up on me. 
It came from this side. Dude, I swear it saw me. I didn't even have the camera on. I need to see if I can see through the bushes. I, I need to know where this turkey is. We got a few minutes left. I'm stinking going for it. I'm stinking going for it. Where's it at? I don't see it. I don't see the turkey. I don't even know where it is. What is this game even? Oh, it's over here? That's a stinking pheasant. This is not how it's supposed to work out. Dude, this game is too realistic. Like, they just completely ignore the calling. There it goes. No! It's landing, it's landing, it's landing. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No! No! Yes! Yes! Roll the replay three times. That was too good. That was too good, dude. What was that? Get down. Oh, oh that is not even a turkey, is it? That's not a turkey. That's a pheasant. I don't actually care, believe it or not. I hit that thing out of the sky with a trad bow. All right, now for the significance of 539. There's actually no significance at all. I totally made all that up. So if any of y'all commented a, some kind of significance in the comments, I have no idea what you're talking about, but thanks for trying. Thanks for the support. This video, I think it's over. Yeah, it's over. Okay, bye.